High above the chaos of a battle between Roman and Carthaginian soldiers stands a Yoshia from China named Wei Yu and the legendary Mystheos Cassandra. Cassandra restates their goal to retrieve a powerful artifact from a Roman general just before she leaps into the fray. I shouldn't keep her waiting. Not bad. You're a natural at this. I could have handled myself. Force of habit. Come on, this way. This way. I suspect the stone will be in the midst of a fight. Look alive. Is someone here? Spare no mercy! I'm here! Look over there. Did you save him from me? Don't flatter yourself. He might have a clue on him about the whereabouts of the stone. You must teach me your techniques from beyond the sea one day. They are intriguing. You should see what that's For order! Spare no mercy! None of these men can see the fight. You go on ahead. I'll catch up. Hold your ground! Having defeated a number of Roman soldiers, Wei Yu is met by a grateful Carthaginian leader, Hannibal, who sees that their objectives align. Hannibal wants the Roman general dead, and Wei Yu wants the stone he carries. That stone he had in his hand, that's what we're after. Wei Yu arrives before the Roman commander and issues a challenge, only to be mocked by his enemy as an insignificant foreign warrior. But the commander's arrogance would soon be tempered by the grace of an eastern spearmaster.
The stone has been retrieved. That it has. And now for me to fulfill mine. Here. In these scrolls is everything you need to know about your... I trust you will find them most illuminating. There's a blade rolled up here as well. Another gift for your disciple. I promise you they will put this to good use. Thank you. Having received the information he came to the west for, Wei Yu begins his voyage home, and we shift perspectives to the east to follow you, his disciple, as you follow up on a lead given to you by an informant and prepare to infiltrate Yongzhou Palace to reclaim a stolen treasure for the people. On the roofs of the palace, you and Chu Huan take note of the guards' movements. Chu Huan jokes about competing to see who can get to the treasure first and leaps down to begin the infiltration. I'll distract them. You take them out. There are far too many attendants for a supposedly empty palace. Shift be over. <laughs> huh. You're getting better at this. <laughs> Quickly, get down. Stay in the shadows and wait for his approach. This is a good spot. Why don't you whistle to draw their attention? What is happening? So, is the bet on? All right, all right. We'll decide on wearing it tonight. Fastest person to complete the mission and get out of the palace will win absolute seniority and respect for tonight. Is someone here? What is happening? Spare no mercy!
You're fast, but you can't outrun me. If our informant is right, the treasure's in the bedchamber on the second floor. We'll have to climb the beams and sneak in through the storage room. Think you can handle that? Making your way across the beams, you stumble upon a tense conversation between two men of high station, Zhao Gao, the Emperor's advisor, and Meng Tian, the Grand General. Curiously, they pass veiled threats between one another, hinting at discord within the upper echelons of the Empire. As their conversation heats up, however, the door to the bedchamber slides open and the Emperor of China himself strides out. Both men humble themselves in front of the passing Emperor and follow him out of the room as he leaves. The way's clear. What did our informant say about the treasure? She said it was a treasure stolen from a poor farmer by a corrupt official. On my honor as Yosha, I will return this treasure to the people. Intruder! Stop right there! approaching. Don't let the prince in! Keep searching! They can't have gotten... Keep searching! They can't have gotten far! Stay low. Keep to the shadows. Yep. Over there! I think I saw some movement. What is happening? Is what is here? happening? You Bear dare no oppose the chief! <laughs> For order! <laughs> I did not expect this many guards. More information may be The exit is just ahead. We just have to get past the square. Just as you approach the gate, a group of Qin guards appear to block your escape. Standing back to back, you and Chu Huan prepare to fight the surrounding Qin guards when your other companion, Yu Ying, 
leaps from a low wall to create an opening for your escape. What would the two of you do without me? We were doing just fine, Ying. Ying Ying is right to be concerned. We didn't expect so many guards to turn up. Much less the Emperor himself. The Emperor? I'll speak to her when we get back. 